Su, 83, who sent out a distress signal to Dr. Phil's team after Hurricane Helene, embodies the vulnerability many seniors face during disasters. Without electricity, food, clean water, or transportation, and just two weeks out of heart surgery, Sue's plight illustrates how marginalized individuals often slip through the cracks of government and community support in crisis situations. The Dr. Phil team's intervention, providing a generator and restoring basic utilities, was a lifeline in a moment of desperation. Um, I'm going to introduce you real quick to Dr. Phil. You watch TV, and you may have seen him on TV. Uh, we were driving down the, this gravel road here to uh, head up to a location to uh, set up a Starlink unit, and this wonderful lady flagged us down named Sue. She's 83, and she lives in this cute little uh, house here. And she came out and said, you know, could I, I don't want to cause any trouble, but uh, could somebody help me? She said, I'm here. I don't have any power. I don't have any water. I, I don't have any food. I, I don't have any ability to get anywhere. I had heart surgery two weeks ago. If, if I had a generator and be a, one of them Coleman stoves, okay. some of them little things, I can stay well, at home. Why well, we get you one? If you can just drop one off, but it's not that simple. you got to... Uh, Get it and get a bright plug, hook it up to the breaker box, get the house turned on, hook it up to her well, get water going. We've already got a generator here. We're fueling it up right now. Uh, we actually had one with us in our caravan, so we're already got her hooked up to a generator. We've got to get it turned on, get the right kind of plug, and then get things going. She just had heart surgery, and she's here by herself. She's falling. She's got a mark on her uh, forehead here. Uh, she went from just being so forlorn to being so uplifted and laughing, and, and I'm just so glad we stopped, so glad she flagged us down. It's a long time I can hardly go. <laughs> We're going to continue on and uh, set up this Starlink um, that Elon Musk has provided to us and uh, get it hooked up. By the time we get back, I think we'll have everything set up and get her turned on. It's just it's just a typical story. A uh, person up here lost. Isolated, needing help. So, so glad we stopped. So glad she flagged us down. This scenario highlights the crucial role of communities, individual action, and private charities in disaster response. While government agencies can be slow and tangled in bureaucracy, private citizens and organizations often step in with immediate, tangible help for those in urgent need. The public's concern over excessive reliance on government stems from a belief that it can lead to inefficiencies, with critical needs being overlooked. Sue's experience, an elderly woman recovering from surgery, left without basic necessities in a resource-rich country until civilians stepped in, shows how this dependency can fail, underscoring a broader conservative principle, the importance of family, faith, and local networks in caring for society's most vulnerable. Historically, neighbors, families, and local communities were the first responders during a disaster. But today, these traditional support systems are often weakened or bypassed due to increased dependence on government aid. Sue's story serves as a stark reminder of what happens when these local networks break down. It stresses the need to foster a culture of caring and responsibility within communities, especially for the elderly and other at-risk groups. Her situation also reinforces the conservative value of self-sufficiency and preparedness. Sue's hardship could have been eased had she been equipped with tools for self-reliance, like generators or camping stoves, which she mentioned. This call for individual responsibility aligns with the belief that people should be equipped to handle crises with minimal dependence on outside help. Dr. Phil's team stepping in with timely aid illustrates a broader message. Private initiatives, charitable acts, and local efforts often create real, immediate change where bureaucracy falters. While government relief is essential, it should not be the sole response to emergencies. Sue's experience makes it clear that personal relationships, community engagement, and personal responsibility are vital to ensuring that no one, especially the elderly and vulnerable, falls through the cracks in a time of crisis.